Hey, this is the Cannibal Pickle taking you away from cooking and into AC installation. So behind me, I've got a tall sliding glass, sliding glass window. And it's also very narrow, the part that opens. So this part is less than 15 inches. And that means that we need a casement air conditioner to go in there so it'll be skinny enough. And that we actually have to pull this window pane out. And that means that we've got to make some accommodations. The window's gonna to be too tall for the AC insulation kit. We're not gonna have the window pane to brace it. So we're going to put in um, our own brace that's flush. The problem with this window pane is when you open it, it actually protrudes about a quarter of an inch past the rest of the window. And that quarter of an inch is what we need to put the um, AC in. So that means a little extra work there. So I've already done some prep work. Um, I installed the same air conditioner in a different window so I know what my measurements are. I made all my mistakes already figured everything out, so I pre-cut the wood that I need for the brace, for the lip, I pre-cut the plexiglass, um, and let's get started. to go through anything else so I figure two inches into the window should be enough. So I'm gonna use the same drill bit. Okay. 
the back than the front, but I don't have a tool to measure that. I'm sure some professional does. I don't really like this design. Like, look how the screw comes at an angle. I feel like that could just wear its way through. And then this is, um, it's just kind of jinky. Like, it moves around and it doesn't feel as stable as the old platform. So, let's see what our next step is. Now that we've got the angle of the platform figured out, um, the instructions actually want us to put in the track strips. So let's do that. For the Frigidaire air conditioner, casement air conditioner, this is what they're referring to when they say the track strip. It's got the two holes there, which they are assuming that you need to drill through those, I'm guessing. With our insulation, we will okay. So we're just gonna fix this in the window jam behind the ledge piece we put on. Peel off the back end. Self-explanatory, but just in case you need to see it. Thank you. And I've got some extra foam strips left over from the last installation that I pulled out, so I'm going to add those a little filler so I have to put less foam in later. The squirt foam. Alright, so let's add scissors to the list of things that we need. Um, I'm going to go grab some and put off this extra strip and show you what I just did. Okay, so it's time to screw in the platform, but we want to make sure that it's in the middle, so we're going to measure. Okay, so I want to make sure that this is in the middle. It's a little bit hard to gauge when what I want to measure it against is further back than where I need to mark. That side is about five and a half as well. That's pretty good. So now we're gonna drill our guide holes and then screw that in. Let's mark our pilot hole. So see how close those um, pilot holes are to the edge of the ledge piece? Um, that's why I'm gonna go with my number eight instead of a number 10, just to give me a little bit more wood. The other side. We'll drill our pilot holes. Always get confused with the camera. Okay, so platform's back on. I'm just double checking the angle again. screw in the platform and I will come back to you when I finish this because you don't want to watch me stand here doing this for all night. Okay, the screws are in. I ended up at going at an angle with this one, which I'm not happy about given that I'm already close to the edge and the angle is out this way. Um, it still looks okay from this side and I'm going to be putting in that other piece in front now. Okay, so just like my first ledge piece, I'm going to drill my pilot holes in first and then I'm going to move this out and drill into the um, windowsill. I'm only going to do two and a half inches on this because it's not actually um, getting pulled by these screws or um, taking any of the platform um, hole. It's just there to help support the one behind it. And I will explain how I arrived at the length or, or the width depth for the, um, these platform pieces or ledge pieces. I'm tired. I can't tell you the right words right now. Um, which is basically that this lip right here 
um, is a certain distance from where the arm rails will come to, and so I had to make sure that this pulled, that the um, ledge pieces pulled this lip far enough forward for those rails to sit against here, and also incorporate that um, quarter inch difference in the tilt that they're looking for um, for appropriate drainage. I forgot to record that. I was drilling the pilot hole in the ledge piece. Now I can see where it's going in the window sill. Okay, so now that I've got the pilot holes drilled deep enough in the ledge, I can go ahead and screw this in. And I'm not going to waste your time showing you this again. Okay, so both of those ledge pieces are in. And the one in front, oh, my shadow blocking all the light, um, helps secure that lip by making sure that it can't come forward um, should it try to um, lean back too much. So just a little extra security there. Okay, so now we're going to attach these rails to the side of the AC using these little screws. So we want um, obviously the screw part to go against the side of the air conditioner and then the um, outward back to you when I've been screwing this on lot. Okay, so the rails are now attached to the side of the air conditioner. Let me show you what that looks like. So one, two, three screws on each side for each rail. And now we're going to put in the um, foam inside of the rail. I don't really explain very well where it goes, so um, I'll figure it out. Okay, so they say cut it in two equal lengths. So let's do this. And then it just says to apply it to the back side. So there's just a tiny bit left over at the end. And we'll do the other side. And let's see how confusing this angle is for you. Okay, in preparation for attaching this to the platform with the bracket that slips inside under the front panel. I've got to take the front panel off. So there are some screws right here on either side that we're going to unscrew and then we've got to finagle the front with kind of lifting up and out and like a pain in the butt in how to do but we're going to get that covered. The screws are out. Let's see how easy we can get this. Right in here. 
and I'm gonna get my sons to look this into the window and then we'll go on. Okay, my sons have lifted the AC into the window, so now we're going to put the bracket that attaches the air conditioner to the platform. Whoa! Yay! And walk right in the trash. So the um, insulation pack comes with two different brackets. One gives you um, some room for it to go backwards, which would have allowed me to make that wedge um, half an inch less wide, um, deep, but then the wood wouldn't be as, um, you know, strong, the thicker the better. Um, especially if you've got screws going through it that are going to take up the hole. So anyway, we want, if I can hold it, just the regular straight one. So let's put that in. And um, I got, for this purpose, they sent, they have you use some screw, but I wasn't feeling it. So I got a bolt and a nut to use for this. Feel like it's more reliable. So we're just going to flip this over. So I've got my bolt. I've got a washer to go between the bolt and the brace just to make sure that it's um, not going to go through. And I've got the nut. See, this can go. Okay. There's the nut, the bolt, and the washer. So just to make sure my bolt doesn't go through the brace thing. So I'm just gonna stick that through that hole and into the hole with the platform and pull the nut on. Now we can put this back on. So I found that you gotta kinda of eyeball where that lever is and slip it through this slot. And then um, get it up front. Well, it doesn't really click, but the screws will hold it in place. So let's get the screws that were in a side, which are little ones like the ones that we put in the rails. We're gonna put those back in this side. Now we're going to put the plexiglass in and frame the plexiglass and um, turn it on, test it. Probably test it before we do all this. That would really suck to get it done and how would not work. Okay, so I don't feel comfortable with a single pane of plexiglass that's only an eighth of an inch thick. So I'm double painting, which is why I've got two pieces. Day two of the installation, I had to pull out the plexiglass that I put in yesterday because the initial cut on this side was not at a 90 degree angle, so when I tried to put it in the window, it slanted out too far and I had to shave it off. Unfortunately, in the process of that, I got some splintering. And if I had the time and the budget, I would replace that. But since I don't, that will be the um, inside paint since I'm double painting this. And the one without splinters will go um, in the back in the rail. And um, in the process of all this, I got my token finger injury. Yeah, I've got tremors. Um, and the plexiglass falling out of the window and hit me on the head. Hey, such a pro. Okay, so um, I also discovered that somehow, despite using the same measurements I did for the other window and having the same air conditioner and the same window, that I'm about a quarter of an inch off on my frame, so it's not going to be nice and tight. Um, and that's an argument for waiting to cut your wood until you are 
done putting the AC in, but then, you know, do you have time to wait? And do you want to paint it? Because if you want to paint it, then you're going to have to wait a while. Um, so, never perfect, but I'm a Kimball Pickle, and what do you expect? First piece is going in, and rail on top of the AC. Given the problems that I had, um, yesterday with my screws getting stuck going in the window frame, I'm going to drill those pilot holes a little bit deeper. Just going to get these started. Here the are showing through, so I have less work with my arms above my head. And those are started to where you can just see the tips. Maybe you're wondering why I don't use my drill. I usually end up stripping the screws with the drill. Okay, that's the top of the plexiglass frame screwed into the top of the window frame. Now I'm going to screw in the bottom of the plexiglass frame and I'm using two different screws on this, let me show you. So one of the screws is going to go through the bottom frame right here through the two layers of plexiglass and into the beam I put in um, as a <laughs> brace for the rail to sit against. This rail right here, that's hard to see in the store. And that one, I really like one and three quarter inch, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna go with this two inch and it will go almost all the way to the end. However, the other side is gonna just go through the plexiglass into the window jam, I guess that's called. Um, I don't like to screw holes in the window jam. If I have to change this or it's got to come out or, it, you know, anything like that, I hate to have a permanent hole in that, but um, it's the only thing that I can really think of that's um, going to work for me. So in that case, all I need to do is go through the wood and the plexiglass and the jam a little bit. So I'm just using a one and a half inch screw on so I'm going to drill those pilot holes. Okay, now I'm going to put in the right side beam and try and put in flush against the um, wall frame and I'm going to use my two and a half inch screws to give me can you see two and a half inch screws to give me a good purchase there and I'll put in three. Let's drill those pilot holes. to extend those pilot holes in the wall. I'm going to start these screws in the wood um, down here. Okay, I have my screws started. So 
so the last piece of the plexiglass frame is going in black against the plexiglass with um, two of these two inch coarse thread screws. I'm making a little pickle, so we're breaking it and we're filling that gap with foam. So I want it to be flush on this side with my wooden support beam. This time, I'm just gonna screw this in before I pull the next pile of foam to keep it lined up. Alright, I've got my first screw in. Um, I'll take it right off a little bit once I get the second screw in. And now to insert the last screw. That's it for all of the um, AC installation aside from filling in the gaps, let me show you that final piece in the plexiglass frame. You can see it's a reasonably smart there, but then as you get up higher it comes further away.